we want to do an example. We have this video here of a pool fire with the mass loss shown here. It's moving really fast for a mouse. We have the mass loss shown here. And it'll burn away, it'll burn away. I know you like watching fire, but I don't think I'm going to make you watch it the whole time. Let's check the time. If we look at the time here, we got 152 seconds. 152 seconds. Okay, I need to go back to pointer. Sorry. So when we started, we were at 50, 53 grams. When we finish, we're at negative 4 grams. I remember that. Oh, I guess I have to write it here. I didn't have an extra slide. All right, so m dot is equal to our mass initial was 53 grams. Our mass final was negative 0 0.4 grams. And our time was 1 minute and 58 seconds. So we want to check, this is one of the times where this reasonableness check is important. This negative 4 grams. Couldn't we have a negative mass? In real life, no. We really can't have a negative mass in real life. But if you've worked with scales or load cells, if you don't have them calibrated correctly, you can get a negative value. So it's okay that we measured a negative value here since it's a measured number and not a theory-based number. But if you ever calculate a mass based on theory and it comes out negative, that's probably not good. So we have a negative, we have a minus, a negative, so that goes to positive. So we have 53.4 grams is our, our mass change. And then we see here we need time. If we looked on the slide before, we needed it in terms of seconds. So this is 60 plus 58, which is equal to 53.4 divided by 60 plus 58, parentheses, is equal to 0 0.45, no, oh, this is grams per second. So now maybe we want it in terms of kilograms per second. So 0 0.45 grams per second. We can do 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. So that's 400, no wait, no. 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth kilograms per second. All right. All right. Is this reasonable? Is this a reasonable answer? So let's look at this one first, because it's really hard to tell if this one's reasonable. We say, all right, so this is about half a gram per second. We started with around 50 grams, and it took a little more than two times 50 seconds to, for it to go away. So half is reasonable there. And if you look at, if you know anything about mass loss rates, half a gram per second is not totally unreasonable. In terms of kilograms per second, uh, we just divided this by a thousand, so that's pretty straightforward. And so I'm going to say it is reasonable.